to North Georgia now and a resolution to a nearly 30 year old cold case. Robert Allen Mowry was convicted and sentenced to life for the 1994 murder of James Richard Harris in Walker County. Local 3's Abigail Martin has this story. Harris's daughter says this will be the first Christmas with closure. She's grateful for those who never gave up on solving her father's murder. For 28 Christmases, the family of James Harris has carried the indescribable pain of not knowing who murdered their loved one. I'm happy to report that there will not be a 29th Christmas. On December 22nd of 1994, James Harris was found in his driveway, strangled to death during an apparent robbery. He was 53. A large amount of blood was found at the crime scene. The crime lab was limited on forensic analysis. In 2005, the evidence was reanalyzed and they determined the blood was not that of Harris, the victim. The case was featured many times throughout the years in Crime Stoppers. Then in 2009, someone called and identified a suspect. We received a Crime Stoppers tip that a Allen was associated with this murder and he worked at uh, Miller Industries. Robert Allen Mowry was never contacted during the investigation. Investigators later found he had been late to work on the day of Harris's murder and was seen in that time with a black eye. In 2018, a GBI special agent called Mowry to talk about the murder. He claimed he'd already been interviewed, but that was not true. Mowry would not submit a DNA sample, so investigators went to work. The law enforcement officers got a cigarette butt from the defendant's garbage can, which returned a match. After that, they were able to get a search warrant for his DNA. Mowry's DNA was a one in three quadrillion match to the blood found on Harris's jeans back in 1994. In 2020, Mowry, who was by then 50 years old, was arrested in Nashville. The connection between the two was Miller Industries. Mowry and Harris worked together there. Mowry was tried in early December and convicted of felony murder. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. He is just one year younger than Harris was when he was murdered. Agent Montgomery speculated the motive was related to money. And I'd like to thank the Harris family. I know they've been through a lot for the last years and for being so patient with us as we, you know, tried to do what we could when we could and, uh, and make the case for your dad. District Attorney Fuller says there are too many families that don't have answers, but he says his office will always search for the truth. Reporting in Walker County, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.